நமஸ்கார் வணக்கம் குட் மார்னிங் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் பர்டிகுலர்லி ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆர் வேல்ராஜ் வைஸ் சான்சலர் ஆஃப் அண்ணா யூனிவர்சிட்டி அண்ட் ஆல் தி டிஸ்டிங்விஷ்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஒன் டே யூஹெச்பி லீடர்ஷிப் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ப்ரோக்ராம் அண்ட் வைஸ் சான்சலர்ஸ் ஆஃப் சவரல் யூனிவர்சிட்டிஸ் deans and directors and of the centers of anna university head of the department and professors of anna university and all the participants who have assembled for this one day uhb leadership development program universal human values program namaskar thank you very much for having me with you and i should have been physically there with you but due to some other engagements and meetings i could not join you uh, friends uh, let's uh, briefly touch upon the why this topic is very critical human values are very crucial for all human beings irrespective of any background whether engineer ho or it could be you know arts person or even an uneducated person also human values are very critical so the indian particularly the indian values is something which has proved its existence and importance since many centuries somehow in the last 150 years we had lost the confidence of dealing with it but again a resurgence has taken place and we are very sure that what the what we lost the originality of our, our human values due to fabricated history and many other reasons we are now taking a look back and start looking at it and in this direction the all india council for technical education has joined hands with universal human value uh, group to bring that concepts to every one of them at least in engineering and management section and also fortunately under the leadership of honorable prime minister of india sri narendra modi ji we are reviving back to our roots and moral values our entire efforts are rooted in the spirit of well being for all and particularly the way the the words vasudhaiva kutumbakam means lot to the indian society the concept of human values is need of the hour as india is developing phase of the uh, in the samrat kal friends in during the samrat kal we are looking at economical prosperity at the same time we are, i mean you are all hearing that we are the fifth largest economy already we going to become the third largest economy in years to come but finally money is not the only one which um, puts a country in the front that that's where the human values becomes very critical and during the samrat kal i think we can revive these values back into our children this concept of this uh, universal human value what has been is thought of well and this is to basically the vision value based education is very important to prepare our youth with a holistic vision of life and also about themselves along with good technical and digital skills so as you know we are we are hearing that artificial intelligence is taking the lead everywhere ai is pervasive today. already it is not a future technology so uh, but you are also hearing there are a lot of jobs are going to be taken away by this ai and all that but what we are most be worried about so much about jobs being taken away but our young people are becoming machines than being a human being they spending a lot of time on the screen on the using their mobile phones and uh, switching from one to other very very briskly and that actually too gen- too dangerous so we need to look back for, into ourselves and understand why this uh, is causing a serious problem to our society so at this same time technology is very useful for all of us and it has to be judiciously used same same way ai is also artificial intelligence is also very very useful we need to uh, properly you know adopt that in our uh, 
daily life. AICT, uh, looking at this uh, very carefully, started working in this direction since 2017. The significant groundwork that has been accomplished uh, over a period of time, those five years, and also there are future plans which are placed, okay, uh, starting with induction program at uh, engineering institutions, a three-week induction program, and also we had made two national committees, NCUHV and then NCCIP in collaboration with UHV team. I think these two teams are exceedingly, I mean, doing exceedingly well. And you heard uh, some of the outcomes of that just before my talk and the prior presentation. So I particularly thank all the, and what is you need to understand is all these people are volunteers. They don't even charge anything to ASET. That's one thing I wanted to tell you because they are volunteer, selfless, and they wanted to contribute to the society. The I would like to place and record their uh, hard work and also commitment. Uh, there, are, there are about 500 plus volunteers who have been doing pro bono surveys for the implementation of these universal human values in all engineering and management institutions across the country. And this implementation or this vision without expecting anything perhaps is, I can say it's one of the largest voluntary efforts by a faculty in mainstream education in India. And this team of 500 plus volunteers have also trained a large number of teachers in engineering and technology management institutions. So through this group of people, AICT is committed to not only to continue this initiative of universal human values, but also taking this into uh, next level and to really derive the full potential of this. The ICT and its institutions have a crucial role in propagating the universal human values course to all the 8,000 plus AICT institutions in the nation and helping them to prepare the adequate faculty for training these and also make all of our students a true citizens of the global village. Translating the materials, also the, what they have prepared for as a, as, a, as a teaching material in various Indian languages are also we have taken up. Okay? So at AACT, we have developed Anuvadini, a AI deep uh, learning tool. I think some of you should look at it, not only just for this topic, but for others also, because it's a really mind boggling tool. And AACT has created a Section 8 company uh, under the direction of the ministry uh, at AACT with four members, Bhasha Samiti Chairman uh, from Sri Chamo Shastriji and previous chairman of the AACT, Anil Sastrabuddhi ji and myself with the leadership of uh, Dr. Buddhachan Shekhar. Yeah, this Anuvadini tool has taken an excellent step where we can develop translational materials in all Indian languages, including Sanskrit. So this will soon, in another five to six months, particularly the Sanskrit will mature, and I think it is available for all of you. So translating the materials into this, particularly what UHV course material, what has been developed in various Indian languages using AICT's Anuvadini tool, we are already making a good effort. So, and it will be made available to all of you through the e-kumb portal of AICT. E-kumb portal is a digital portal for sharing, you know, uh, copyrighted material through all of you. The material or course material, which are basically an outcome-based uh, kind of a course material developed by experts and which are available. Right now in this portal, we have uh, first and second year of diploma courses and first and second year of engineering courses in all languages, including Tamil, they are available already. So kindly take a look at it. We are now developing third year and the fourth year elective courses also been being developed as per the model curriculum developed by AICT. So in the U, coming back to UHV, in the UHV also we have developed a minor degree proposition for the universal human values for the, all the engineering students and making it available through Swayam. That is another attempt we are going. So all of you might be knowing Swayam is one of the largest MOOCs platform in the world. Close to about 10,000 courses are available, even though 70% of that is technology and management courses. Actually, IIT Madras is doing it. 
today both UGC and AICT have clearly demo, clearly instructed all the institutions to allow the student to take up to 40% of their credits through the self-learning and uh, then get evaluated and get credited also. This is what is very, very important. I urge all the vice chancellors, if they have not done at their university, please adopt this Swayam platform uh, very effectively because that is going to be game changer for learning. So finally, this UHB also will be put on this Swayam platform, making universal human values and UHB resource materials and resource team is also available to you. So please contact you know, UHV team, they are voluntary. They will come to your institutes and do courses like leadership program, even technical teachers training program, and even, you know, regular UHV course program also, they are willing to uh, do that at your institution. AICT will work together with them in a complementary manner in releasing the full human potential and an equitable society and also promotion of this for our national development. Just would like to give you some key statistics of UHV, what they have done. They are basically, their vision is for human value education for a humane society. So for the whole world. So this program talks about value education and also to know themselves, each individual. So based on the value-based education and value-based living, this is a basically, basically gives you an opportunity, explore self, yourself, you know. This is a basic, they have already developed more than 16 books, eight courses, and 12 faculty development uh, uh, programs they have conducted, I mean, they have, and there is a voluntary team, as I told you earlier, 500 plus, and they have prepared a faculty, this is a big compliments to the UHV team. 75,000 and plus teachers have been trained so this is all done honorary with pro bono. So this is an amazing, I think we should applaud uh, the entire UHV team. Please, you know, give them a big clap. So uh, there is a lot of in these courses, more than two lakh registrations have come and large number of institutions and universities are also part of this. So I, we have also put what has happened in the last five, six years, so a proper impact study uh, should be done. I think the UHV team will read out the impact study outputs. This is done by Irma, okay? And uh, AICT had actually asked him what to do the impact study of the universal human value course uh, in across the institutions. So I, I really felt uh, this induction and this leadership program where the leaders, I mean, basically they are going to go back and implement in their colleges will be a very valuable uh, thing for the entire uh, education uh, sector. So I request and I to adopt this in your institutions and train more and more people. And uh, this could be even beyond the you know class hours and uh, uh, for the students. So there must be some motivation to do these things. So I take this opportunity uh, to thank the UHV team and also particularly Anna University to take the leadership to organize this uh, one day UHV leadership program and I hope this will be a very successful event and will spread the message of universal across the nation. So thank you. Namaskar. Jai. Thank you. Thank you Professor Sitaram, Chairman AACT for sharing your valuable time for this one day Universal Human Value Workshop. It's a really, we understood the need for uh, this uh, universal human value in the emerging, in the emerging technology scenario. And also we understood the, all the initiatives made by AACT to promote this uh, universal human value education. And uh, definitely we will implement this in our syllabus and also promote this to all the engineering colleges. We understood the need for uh, this human value education in the emerging technology, particularly in the artificial intelligence growing scenario. It is very much essential. But definitely we will do uh, to the expectations of AICT. Thank you very much, sir, for your valuable time to with us. Thank you. Sir.